<laughs> Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is H O B for you. H O B for you. <laughs> so much because <laughs> I'm a bad girl. <laughs> I'm only messing anyway. What I have to talk about today actually is just telling us how certain things can push us out of our comfort zones. I start the story but before I start the story I ask you a question and I also ask you to make a comment please on my comment section. So that we can all flow along. I don't want to be the only one talking because if I talk, <laughs> I talk a little. <laughs> so let's have fun all together. Have you been pushed out of your comfort zone before? Hmm? I want to know if you've been pushed out from your comfort zone. How did you feel? Did that make you to be able to achieve a goal? Or... Did you lose something precious after being pushed out of your comfort zone? Please let me know. If you were pushed out of your comfort zone and that challenged you for something better, I want to know. Because so many people can't stand being pushed out of their comfort zone. When they see themselves in a different environment or different situation, they just, they, they, they are almost losing it all. But I tell you today, if you are one of those, there's a solution which I'm going to give. And the solution is words of encouragement. I've been pushed out of my comfort zone on several occasions and it really helped me. It helped me. It helped me. I won't tell you a lie. There should be something to challenge you in life to make you move forward. But for some people, challenges bring sorrows. Challenges bring pains. Challenges bring confusion. If there is a change in your situation, if there is a change in what you are doing, always know that there is a reason for it. You know what I do? Sometimes when I find myself in some uncompromising position, do you know what I sincerely do? After I've said all my prayers to God and asked God for direction, I turn that situation around to favor me. How can I bring myself out from this mess? How can I move on? How can I move even better than the situation that I found myself in? Better than what I was doing before. That is how I say it for myself. And I challenge myself with it. And it has helped me over the years and that's why i don't want to stay quietly anymore i want to pass it on so if there is something disturbing you and it has weighed you down and it's causing you a lot of pains in acts today is the day today is the day to use that situation to challenge yourself so to see a different you and today is the day for you to use that situation to say Oh, this is a different me now. And this is the positive thing I'm expecting from this situation to put me up, to make me better than what I was before. I'll say a personal story now. Maybe that we just ginger one of us. Uh, this is very personal. Before now, uh, when I was younger actually, I didn't know how to drive. Even when I married my husband, I didn't know how to drive. So he drives me everywhere. 
If it wasn't there to drive me, somebody was definitely there to drive me. And um, I enjoyed it. I was enjoying it then without even realizing that uh, I wasn't happy myself too. On this fateful day, I was pregnant for my son. My husband was not around. And the person that was to come and pick me from antenatal clinic where I was, wasn't forthcoming. And I, I couldn't get through to that person. It was really tough. Listen, this is true life story. I made my journey. The home is very far from town, right? I made my journey, boarded a cab. On the way, the driver told me he couldn't go further because the road was messy. Everything around that section was so bad. If they drive in, they might end up sinking in the mud. The driver stopped. Despite I pleaded for him to bring me further because of my condition, he wouldn't. So I came down from the car. I had to go through that mud. You know, you can imagine heavily pregnant. I was going through that mud and I fell. I fell. I honestly did fall. I fell in the mud. There were some other things that got my feet injured. But <laughs> to say it all, nothing was wrong with the baby. Nothing was wrong with myself. I got home. I was angry. Do you know why I was angry? I was really angry with myself because I had the cars. The car parked out there. But I, I couldn't drive. I know it's nobody's fault. But that challenged me. In the sense that I just told myself I could better myself. Even doing this thing for myself. So what I did, I got home. And it continued like that for about like a week. Yes, it did. I, because I was almost due anyway. So I couldn't start driving. I'll just summarize the story. I gave birth to this child. And after about three months like that, the child was okay, I was okay, everybody was fine. Because of that simple thing that happened to me, proud to the birth of my child, I used it to challenge myself. I told my husband I wanted to learn how to drive. Before you know it, I got into the wheels, I learned, and I started driving. This happened about years back anyway. So what I'm trying to say is every situation, you can use it to challenge yourself. That's a very simple one that I've talked about here. There are even more awkward situations that you can use to challenge yourself for the better. I will cite an instance now. There was a lady that, um, you know, she used to tell me a lot of stories about herself about a family, just stories we get talking, talking and talking and talking, like that. Then she got married, she was looking for children, she never had. Years went by and no child was forthcoming for her. And do you notice know what this lady did to herself? She used a predicament, a present situation. She used it to challenge herself in the sense that she said, yeah, I've been looking for children. I want children. None is forthcoming. Then she picked up a job and started working with children. Children were always around her almost 24 times 7. When she goes home, she thinks about these kids that she minds during the day. She, she just, she just believes she had kids. Because those were her kids. She had relationship with them. And, she, and that even made her so busy that she wasn't even thinking of her actual situation. The deficiency that she had or the problem that she had. And before you knew it, because she was in a more relaxed environment, she wasn't like thinking too much. And she came with the good news. She was pregnant. And now she's a mother of five. So what I'm trying to say, I'm not telling you if you don't have kids, go and stay with children or go and do this. What I'm just using these instances in our lives to say 
situations can change. Everybody's situation can change from the bad situation you found yourself to a better one. It could be in terms of job you're looking for. It could be in terms of existing job you're doing. It could just be anything. Your situation can change and you are the person that can really assist yourself in changing your own situation for the better. I'm being honest. So take every opportunity to turn it around in your own favor. Yes, in your own favor. You know what I don't like? What I don't like is when you sit and put your hand on the head and tell yourself, oh, it's just, it's finished. I can't go further than this. You are only deceiving yourself because you can go even more than what you think. You can. You can go higher and higher and higher, further and further. What I'm telling you today I don't know who is there. You are watching me. You are seeing me. You are hearing me. Turn your situation around. Even if it's, it, it, it looks like it's the end, no. For you, no. For me, no. Turn it around in your own favor. That's all I have to say. That is all I have to say. We can turn so many situations around. In our own favor, use it to achieve something for yourself. Oh, yes. Story. During the pandemic, you know, during that time that it was so, like, tough, people were scared, people were not going to work, a lot of people were not doing things. That time, I turned that situation into so I will come to that one of my videos. I will come to that soon. I turned that situation into something for myself. It's like giving back to something new in my life and it's helping me today. So that was meant to be a great challenge on its own because it made many people uncertain, but that situation has also changed a lot of people's lives for positive things. We shouldn't be always thinking of the negative things. Even when we see things shaking us, we should see how we can turn it around in our own favor, in my favor, in your favor. Thanks for listening and thank you for today. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. If you have not subscribed to this uh, channel before, please do. Existing subscribers, thank you so much. There is a subscribe button there. Click on that and thumbs up for me, H-O-B. Thank you. Mm, thank you.